Hey guys, DanPet27 here, and today we're going to be listening to yet another clock chime. Here we are at the uh, Federated Church of Willington. See, there's a clock right there. But except we're not going to be watching it chime from here. Yeah, we're actually going to be going inside the bell tower and listening it chime from in there. So, let's go. Okay, here we are in the belfry. So, it, the time is now 10.57. So, in, or almost... 10.58 a few seconds so in just about two minutes that bell is going with the hair right there is going to ring so let's just wait for it he yeah, has almost 11 o'clock so this bell is about to ring 11 times and yeah, having to finally be up here in a clock tower when the bell is ringing on the hour because i've always been interested in clocks my whole life and i've seen it a bunch of times on youtube i've never actually experienced it in real life myself so that was the, my first time so there it goes <laughs> There you go, seeing a church bell chime 11 o'clock up close in person. Okay, and now I'm actually I'm up here in the clock mechanism itself, and here I got someone who's gonna explain to us how this works, so go ahead. We're here at the uh, Clara Hall Elliott Memorial Church in South Willington, and this is the clock tower. And this is the mechanism that actually drives the clock. This drives all four clock faces, and it also times the bell. So uh, this uh, little machine here, this little motor, runs uh, all these tiny little cogs and gears and uh, that determines uh, the position of the, the hands as well as when the bell is uh, supposed to chime. So the main drive of the, uh, the bell mechanism, which is a hammer mechanism, uh, is this motor here which engages at a certain point when, when one of these uh, wheels reaches uh, the, the right position and it will pull up this gear here, which is connected to the, uh, the chain mechanism that reaches the hammer mechanism. And uh, for each one of these uh, teeth in the cog here uh, is one chime of the bell. So over time, it will be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And that will be how many times the bell will ring. You said on that every on the half hour it just does one chime, right? Exactly. Yep. On the half hour one chime, and then it chimes the hour every hour. Okay, I'm back home, and it is now the next day. But before I end the video, I just want to make note of a couple of things I forgot to mention while we were there, and that is that the bell can ring three different ways. So there's the the clock that rings it one way, and then there's two manual ways it can ring. First is if you pull this rope, that'll ring it with this hammer. And if you pull this rope, that'll swing the bell or ring with the clapper inside. And then, of course, this hammer is what the clock uses to ring it. Okay, that's it. See you in my next video.